A major Japanese food company says it will replace about 400,000 cans of powdered milk for free after samples of the product were found to contain radioactive cesium. Major company says 30.8 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram was found in powdered milk produced between March 14th and March 20th. That's below the government safety limit of 200 becquerels per kilogram. But Meiji decided to replace all of the powdered milk it produced during that period. The product was tested after consumers questioned its safety last month. Meiji says all of the powdered skin milk used as a base for the recalled product was processed before the March 11th disaster. Some of it came from Hokkaido in northern Japan, and a large amount was imported from Australia and other areas of Oceania. The final product was processed at a facility in Saitama Prefecture near Tokyo after March 11th. Meiji says that radioactive cesium from the Fukushima Daiichi plant may have entered the Saitama facility when it was ventilated during the drying process. The Japanese government has banned shipments of rice harvested this year from a part of Fukushima City after radioactive contamination was discovered. The area is about 60 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Inspections last week found up to 590 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram in rice from three farms in the city's Watari district. That's over the government limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram. The prefectural government says the ban affects 406 rice farms in the region. Rice shipments have already been banned at another part of Fukushima City and two areas of Date City in the prefecture. A team of scientists had conducted a study in Fukushima Prefecture after higher than permissible levels of radioactive cesium were detected in locally grown rice. The team from the Agriculture Department of the University of Tokyo arrived in Date City on Saturday. So far, rice from farms in four surrounding districts has been found to contain levels of cesium above the government safety limit. The team interviewed farmers to find out about the irrigation systems and the lay of the land around rice paddies. It also collected straw samples from the paddies and surface and subsurface soil samples. The samples will be tested to find out where the concentration of cesium is highest. The team will also conduct an experiment using the soil samples to grow rice. We'll try and clarify how rice absorbs cesium. We want to offer useful suggestions based on the research, which could contribute to the rice planting next year.